Last night, we highlighted the struggles that 911 dispatchers face, and while it's a difficult job, in one dispatcher's words, there are those calls that make it all worthwhile. So one of those calls involved a young Morton girl whose mother suffered a life-threatening seizure. Despite being just eight years old at the time, when Bella Robinson's mom suffered a medical episode, she knew just what to do. Nassau County 911, what's the emergency? My mom's not It all started on a cold, snowy day last January. Bella wanted to play outside, but first her mom, Gina, wanted to clear the sidewalks and driveway. I started shuffling and I felt something wasn't right. Gina says she recalls trying to reach the steps, but never made it. I don't remember. I just fell. And so when they found me, I was laying on my side on the ground, on the snow. I know she was out there a long time, and I went outside to see what she was doing. I didn't see her. Bella ran back in, grabbed her coat, and raced back out around the side of the house, only to find her mother lying on the ground, unresponsive. She said, try, try to shake me and say, Mommy, Mommy, you know, and there was snow on me, and she wasn't getting a response, so she said she went right back inside and got my cell phone. I grabbed the phone, and... I dialed 911. Are you, are you outside with her now or are you still inside? I'm outside. Jason Potter was the Tazewell County dispatcher who answered that call. Okay, is she breathing? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'm getting help on the way. So I had her check on her mom to see if she was breathing. She didn't see that she was breathing. And she gave me her address, and she did really good about getting me all the information I needed at the time. It was information fellow telecommunicator Lindsay Cash used to radio for help. I was listening to his call, so I just took the initiative and went ahead and got officers and medics en route. And when police arrived, Bella followed dispatcher's instructions, standing by her mother, waving her arms so they could find her in the falling snow. While Gina says she doesn't remember any of this, she was later told officers couldn't find a pulse, prompting them to start CPR. They were efforts that ultimately saved her life. She's my hero. And so are the first responders and the people on the phone, everybody involved. Finally, 10 months after it happened, the Robinsons got to thank those dispatchers face to face. Let's have another big round of applause for our heroes. On Tuesday, they met for the first time at a statewide awards ceremony in Chicago, where Bella, Jason, and Lindsay were all recognized for their roles in helping save a life that night. the Robinsons and local dispatchers, this proved to be a call with a happy ending. It's difficult sometimes, but, uh, you, know, you know, you have the bad ones, but then you have the good ones that turn out really good like this, so it makes it worthwhile for sure. And we love stories with happy endings. Now at that same award ceremony, by the way, a seven-year-old girl from McLean County was also recognized for calling 911 and saving her mother along with the dispatcher who took that call. And not only does this show how important our dispatchers are, but it shows the importance of teaching kids to know how to call 911 properly and how to know your address. That's something that Bella's mom said they started working on when she was three because her mom had medical conditions. Boy, it paid off. She went right to the phone, did the right thing. She knew just what to do, one smart young lady, very right. brave too.